At the United Nations headquarters in New York City, dozens of countries have signed on to a landmark treaty to ban nuclear weapons worldwide. The United Nations calls it the world's first legally binding treaty banning nuclear weapons. It prohibits the development, testing and possession of nuclear weapons, as well as using or threatening to use these weapons. The treaty was approved by 122 U.N. member states in July, despite heavy U.S. opposition to the treaty. Following the treaty's approval, the U.S., Britain and France published a joint statement saying they, quote, have not taken part in the negotiation of the treaty and do not intend to sign, ratify or ever become party to it, unquote. The treaty will take effect 90 days after 50 U.N. member states have ratified it. Meanwhile, President Trump told reporters Wednesday he's made a decision about whether he'll take action to undo the landmark 2015 Iran nuclear deal, but refused to say what his plans are. NBC is reporting, based on unnamed sources, Trump is leaning toward decertifying the deal, even though Secretary of State Rex Tillerson acknowledged Wednesday Iran is in compliance with the deal. All other parties to the Iran nuclear deal also agree Iran is in compliance. This is the European Union's foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini. It has been uh, um, a frank, uh, open and in-depth um, discussion, uh, during which uh, we have agreed on the fact that uh, all sides uh, are implementing, so far, fully the agreement. On Wednesday, the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, slammed Trump's threats to undo the landmark deal. I really don't know whether a country or a power or an individual who tries to back out of this agreement, other than bringing embarrassment upon themselves, they will gain nothing from it. If the United States government exits the agreement, undoubtedly it will be condemned by the American people themselves, and before that, by the European Union, by all countries throughout the world. The condemnation will be equal, and even the allies of the United States will no longer have the courage to support America vis-a-vis -vis this issue.